Production support for Gadget was provided by the University Catholic Center, the Jesuits, and Gateway, the beauty and power of one. On this episode of Gadget, we continue our CES coverage with some yogi goodness. Plus, we take a first look at the Duracell PowerSource Mobile 100. Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus, the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order of the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. Now, I want to start off by wishing all you Christians out there a most blessed, holy Ash Wednesday. And if you're not Christian, well, welcome to the show. It's, it's great to have you here. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Now, you may be hearing some noise in the, in the background. That's actually our interns over in the gaming lab next door. They've received a few titles that they're testing out, including Unreal Tournament and Bioshock, and the favorite right now, which is Rock Band, which I like, but it's a little bit loud. I, I think it's one of those gifts that you would give to the children of people that you don't like. Well, let's get on to the tech. Now, a few episodes ago, we received the Xantrex Mobile Mini. This diminutive device weighed about a third of a pound, and it allowed you to extend the electronic range of your USB devices. You could charge your iPhone, your iPod, your cell phone, your USB headset. Now, we got a lot of good comments about it, but we also had a few negatives, mostly from people who said that they wished that the device could charge more than just USB gadgets. I mean, not all of our gadgets can be charged via a USB port. Well, Duracell Xantrex has heard your cries, and they've responded with a line of products called their Power Source Mobiles. Now, this is not just a scaled-up version of the Mini. You know, it, it doesn't just have a bigger battery. But if you look here, it has the two, two USB ports, plus it has an AC socket. That's right, it allows you to plug in the AC adapter for your laptop, uh, plug in an emergency light, plug in audio equipment, basically plug in anything that fits below the maximum 80-watt rating. Uh, 160 watt peak. But that's not it. It's not just another battery that also has an inverter. It's a bit more. You see, they include several attachments. This allows you to charge up the unit from an AC socket by plugging it into the back here, but this can also be used to plug in a DC adapter. Now, if you, once you plug this in, you actually get the standard uh, universal airline boat type adapter, plus dropping it right here, you get the uh, standard universal cigarette adapter, which means that you can plug this into your airline seat, you can plug this into your car, you can plug this into your boat, and not only charge up the unit, but you can use this as an inverter. Now, there, there's one very cool thing about this. It's, it's kind of uber geeky, but it's something that's near and dear to my heart because I travel a lot. You see, when I travel, I travel with a lot of gear, and I always have at least one inverter running in the car, because some of the devices I have will not use those mobile battery packs. And I, I like to travel long distances, you know, 20, 30, 40 hours. Well, the problem I have is when I have to stop, stop the car to sleep, stop the car to fuel up, stop the car to, to well, release waste, or, or stop the car to, to get food. What happens is when I shut it down, all the inverters in the car will shut off, and then the devices will go under their own battery power. Uh, that's not a big problem, except for the fact that I'm really sort of anal retentive about cycling the battery. I don't want to cycle it. And on a long trip, it can cycle quite a bit, which reduces the lifespan of the battery in your notebook or your portable DVD player or whatever it might be. The cool thing about the Mobile 100 is once you've turned it on, even if it's acting as an inverter, if you remove the power source, it will continue to work. It will continue to provide AC power, which means that your AC adapter on your laptop won't shut down and the battery won't have to power cycle. Small point, but uh, something that's significant for uber geeks who want to keep their electronic gear in tip-top shape. Now, this thing, again, will provide about 80 watts of power. It has a 4 ampere battery, which means it has about 45 watts of storage. Uh, it, they say that it 
peaks out at 160 watts, plus it can provide sort of a higher rating of about 110, 120 watts of power. It charges from 0 to 100% in about 4 hours on the AC adapter, or about 2 hours on the DC adapter. Now, in our test, we were actually able to run this very laptop, this, this little uh, mobile, for about two and a half hours before this died out. We were actually able to run my cell phone with nothing but this for 16 days before it finally died out. And I think that's also because we were playing with some other devices. So it is a very competent battery that uses a lithium ion cell to reduce the charging effect and to give you all the extra power that you can get. Now, the, the entire unit only weighs about one pound versus a third of a pound for the mobile mini. And uh, the fact that you can use it as a battery backup, as an inverter, as a, a, a USB or AC storage device, just it makes it sort of an essential product for Uber geeks on the go. Now, the lowest price we could find online for this was at Amazon.com, where we found it for about $75. So if you're looking for a mobile power source, if you're looking for an inverter that's not just another no-name craptacular brand you may want to check out duracell xantrex they might have the thing just to keep you on the go now at ces we ran into some of our friends from yogi at showstoppers and again at the sands convention center they were showing off one of their new products which is the yogi pico fire stick the idea is that you can take the functions of the pico but uh, remove the antivirus and just use the firewall features now, let's just see the tape and you can see if this might be something for you. So we're here at the Yogi table. Now, if you've been watching the show for a while, you know that I fell in love with the previous Yogi products that we reviewed. The Yogi Pico and the uh, Yogi Gatekeeper Pro. Now, they've come out with a new product here at CES. This is the Fire Stick Pico. The idea is, let's take the functions of an antivirus, which you may already have on your computer. We'll, we'll let you handle that and we'll take care of your firewall security. Now with me from Yogi, I've got Shlomo who's going to tell us a little bit about how this uh, device works. Well, as you said, it's a, it's a small computer running your firewall applications that bring you to physical separation between your computer and the internet. So people from the internet, they don't see your computer. So if they want to attack your computer, they actually land on the Yogi Fire Stick. He takes the bullets for your computer. Now if you just bought your antivirus, it doesn't mean you need to buy the gatekeeper, you can set up with the Fire Stick have the firewall physically on the fire stick and have your antivirus on your PC. And the great thing here is, uh, I understand that this, this is a computer. This is not a USB thumb drive with software. This is a full-featured Linux computer. Exactly. From, well, I, I like to say from the outside, it's a USB drive. But from the inside, it's a full computer running Linux 2.6, full-blown Linux 2.6, and the applications on top of that. And, uh, okay, I, I know that the Gatekeeper Pro is about 150 the the Pico was about 100 So what's the price point on the Fire Stick Pico? Street price will be in the neighborhood of $80, $79, street price. So it, it's actually a great way for someone to leverage their existing antivirus software while getting the added security of a firewall. Absolutely. More than that, you know, the Pico comes with complementary Kaspersky full suite for the, on the software side also. So if you want to get that, you get it also free as a complimentary offer from Yogi in the box. If you want to find out more about the, uh, the Yogi products, you can actually go to the Tech Stop. Check out our episode and uh, you'll be able to see a full review of exactly what these products can do for you. That's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. We want to thank our friends over at Xantrex, Duracell, Gateway, and Yogi for helping us put this episode together. If you want to see what we've been doing, if you want to find out more about the products we've reviewed, or if you just want to find out about the Tech Stop and download our high-resolution versions of all of our episodes, you can go to www.thetechstop.net and click on the Gadget tab. If you want to send us an email, either to ask us a question about this episode, or tell us that we've done a horrible job, or suggest products for future review, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber geek without you. <laughs>